And、uh, since this is a farm to table overview, I thought it would be fun to feature farm animals to help me explain this research methodology when it comes to understanding correlation analysis of the animals that you see on the screen. Which ones are most closely related and least related to each other? You know, all of these animals are ones that you may find on a farm. However, some of them are more closely related to each other than others. And correlation analysis can be thought of as these animals. It's all about relationships and how strong the relationship is between them. So, in a nutshell. Correlation analysis studies the closeness of relationships between two or more variables, and it is used to describe the linear relationship between two continuous variables. And for market research, it is a bivariate analysis that measures the strength of association between two variables and the direction of the relationship. So, with our farm example, although they can be on the same farm and eat the same kind of food. Pigs and chickens probably have a lower correlation in comparison to ducks and chickens, as we see on the left. You know, since they're both birds. However, eggs and baby chicks are probably more closely, or they are more closely related to the adult chicken. And between baby chicks and eggs, chicks are baby versions of the adult chicken, while the egg is just an embryo of the chicken. So in this case. Baby chicks are most correlated to chickens out of all of them. I know this is kind of silly, but it's a great analogy to grasp the basics of the correlation analysis methodology. And when it comes to correlation analysis, you know the relationship of the correlation will give a direction, which is either positive or negative in nature. A positive correlation. Means that as one variable increases, the other one does as well. And a negative correlation means that when one variable increases, the other one decreases. So a good example of one that increases is that farmers who utilize more farming technology, which is variable one, can farm larger sizes of fields or larger field sizes, and that would be considered a positive. Correlation.